Moving on to some more sneaker news, Virgil Abloh has been tapped up by Nike for another batch of trainers to come out, right? They've done the 10, they've done, you know, all the other track and field stuff that associated with that as well. He's done other Jordans, like he's, they've just been rinsing and wringing that Virgil towel dry as they can. And you can't blame them anyway when you consider how how well the shoes do. I think, as I mentioned, I swear, who I mentioned it to? I forgot who I mentioned it to somebody, but... I mentioned, I think I mentioned to somebody that the Virgil shoes you just from Nike, the, or the Off White and Nike shoes, they might be outside of Yeezys. They might be the most commonly worn. No, outside of Yeezys and Sakai's, they might be the most commonly wore, worn hype shoes or limited edition shoes I've ever seen in real life, day to day. And again, I don't go to all the hipster places. I'm actually living in London, so when I go and walk around and I'm around town, I'm going to work and I'm back and forth, whatever I'm doing, right? I see. A lot of people, where they're wearing day to day, and you see a lot of Dr. Martins, you see a lot of those massive mountaineering feelers that are flipping terrible, but save that brand. Um, you see loads of Air Force Ones. Um, you see a lot of Converse's, but in terms of limited edition shoes, you don't see a lot, right? But when you do see them, the ones you see actually people wear, and they actually love them to death, and you see them being battered up and worn and beaten are usually Yeezys. Um, any of the Sakai's, I've seen loads of girls and guys wearing them day to day. And then, like I said, off-whites, whether it's the Air Maxes, the Jordans, like you see people in Air Force One, people are wearing them day to day, which is pretty sick to see. So I get that these Dunk collaborations especially would be uh, very well received, but they're going to do 20, 20 shoes, bro. 20 models, actually. 20 models, right? 20 different models or 20 different colorways of the same model, right? Of the Dunk that he does with obviously the little, um, uh, what you call it, climbing rope thing that he sprays all over the top of them. Um, and this is from Hypebeast. This is the following. Um, according to reports, we could be seeing a range of off-white Nike releases next this year. Nike leakers pirates have provided an image of a mock-up that is going to be the Nike 20. This is expected to be the latest in Virgil Abloh's ongoing partnership with Nike. So I guess it's, so I guess Nike did right by Virgil what they didn't do right with Kanye. They've decided, hey, you are actually bringing in a coin. Your collaborations always do really well. Um, you take fresh approaches to like you know staple products that we want to keep selling week in week, uh, day in year in year out. Nike are desperate to make the dunk thing work i personally don't think it has i think they've pumped a lot of money into the dunks activations promotions marketing whatever it may be and it just hasn't taken off as it needs to be because by and large the dunk is just never has been well, well received i remember back in the day when i was at working at 1948 at nike and they had the whole be true to your school collaboration probably one of the best sneaker probably one of the best sort of like classic dunk um retro collab to come out during that whole nike sp period and they were beautiful right um all these sort of like college basketball colorways done in plush suede and leathers really really well done i had about four pairs during that time and they they sat on the shelves for ages no one gave a crap about them they did a big promo push there was loads of hipsters wearing them and loads of really well-known people in london scene wearing them and doing adverts and shit and they didn't do well at all um they've tried time after time well unless it's a dunk sb that everyone's just buying in order for it to accrue a certain value they're not really popular with everyday consumers i just don't know why it is i think because air force ones are just so much a far superior shoe if you're looking for that kind of silhouette the air force ones are just on a whole nother level why would you ever wear a dunk and to be honest they're not the most comfortable shoe either they're not very comfortable that's something people don't really realize especially dunk lows they're very uncomfortable that little that little bit here you see this bit here whatever that bit that that bit that connects basically to the bottom of the tongue to the toe box it really eats away at you especially from my feet i'm not too sure if everyone else is the same but that's what happens to mine so it continues it says rumors are noting that the massive drop would see off-white and nike dunk low rendered in colorful takes that build on the contrast tone looks associated with the model continuing details include an exposed tongue traditional shoelaces marked lacing system paired with the trail like flywire cord laces um zip tie orange tabs and the industrial helvetica text printing it's interesting to note that virgil left a comment on pirates post to deny the mock-ups yeah virgil wasn't really that fond of the mock-ups and what they did essentially what pirates did is that they saw the the kind of color codes that existed for the model no the color codes for the shoe and then they basically did some mock-ups in photoshop to basically get an idea of what they would look like virgil looked at them and said nah that's i would never design something like that something like something like that he said words of those effect but you know looking at it from afar they look pretty decent i'm not gonna lie in terms of colorway wise um maybe 
there's probably a little bit too many colors there you might want to slim it down to 10 in terms of actually you know um overkill but it's Nike at the end of the day if Nike, if anyone knows how to really flog a dead horse until it's absolutely you know dead dead it's Nike so that's no surprise in that regard and then I think there was a colorway here I've actually got where is it there's actually yeah there's two actually colorways that have been actually seen in real life so i guess the mock-ups aren't that far off right there's a colorway here so i think this might be this one i'm not too sure maybe it's this sort of colorway in this colorway it's like a sail like a light blue with like a sail and like a gray swoosh it looks like with like a sky blue again on the outsole it kind of may be similar to this to this one here that's featured by just fresh kicks it says there'll be okay just fresh kicks give an update they said there'll be 50 different colorways with two different plates and like and laces and insoles so this is what they have and they have this really great colorway i like which is sort of like um a gray with white and then you've got the sail midsole here which really kind of pops off a little bit and then you've got these amazing fuchsia pink um laces that goes over the top of the shoe and it just works really really well these are really nice and then of course you've got this plate that basically says 30 out of 50 so i think that might be the 30th model out of the 50 which is a lot of shoes to be completely honest um maybe a, a bit too much in terms of selection obviously not a lot not a lot when it comes to virgil building a legacy over there at nike because imagine if he's able to sell out this entire collection or they all happen to be very coveted shoes not sell out let's say because the thing with the vision of 10 people don't actually remember is that some of the air maxes and some of the other kind of other you know not so popular basketball shoes they still sell for pretty much double retail sometimes three times as much as retail so they all eventually sold out you can't buy them in, in the shops anymore and they're still covetable right so that basically is a win especially if you're releasing 10 pairs of shoes it's all good you know selling out one pair maybe two maybe three maybe four but 10 is insane so if that happens as well with these that's going to be a real feather in his cap that is going to show that hey he knows what he's doing when it comes to collaborations and that's the funny thing as well i think you know especially when you look at some of the off-white shoes and the shoes he does for louis vuitton virgil's best work for sure when it comes to footwear is definitely collaborations 100 percent. i'd say clothing maybe i think his stuff is probably nicer than the stuff he's done collabs with but i think when it comes to footwear his collab stuff is like on another planet so if you're a footwear brand maybe because nike is such a fucking beast of a company they would probably are in no way shape or form looking to help no looking to allow him to go and do shoes with any other especially athletic brand but if you are a footwear brand that isn't in the that isn't competing with nike you probably your best option would be to go collab with virgil as soon as possible because when it comes to footwear he kind of has the real um stardust quality in order to kind of lift you know really basic models that you have and take them to a whole another level because even this black colorway looks pretty sick the picture from hypebeast that they've taken or whoever this uh leaker is that took this picture it's flipping horrendous you've got a kid here wearing cuffed pants with no socks it just looks terrible right he probably didn't even, didn't even moisturize his ankle it looks like but regardless the shoe itself and the makeup looks classic it's like classic um off-white sort of colorway mock-up it's not like a classic nike actually mock-up that i've had in a pair of mx 90s where it's sort of like a black upper with like a silver swoosh and white laces very well done i think i had a pair yeah, i did i had a pair of mx one mx 90s and a pair of air force ones in a similar sort of mock-up um sometimes you get a sort of like white midsole here with black outsole but the entire thing's been blacked out it looks pretty pretty epic to be honest i'm not too sure why the the label or why the badge the little thing on this outside looks like it's been covered over with a marker looks like somebody went over it with a sharpie or something i'm not sure what that's about that might tie in with the release you've got a little tab underneath the lace it underneath the swoosh but it looks fairly sick not gonna lie um that wasn't in one of the mock-ups so maybe virgil was right what he said about um the, the whatever we thought he was gonna make aren't on there because that black one isn't on there so maybe there are some other models that we're not aware of that are not on the list but still man nike dunk lows um a whole collection of them 20 according to virgil or 20 according to some people some people are saying 50 but regardless when they do come out you're probably not gonna be able to get a pair anyway so what does it matter really when it comes down to it but these pictures from hype pieces we need to do better sneaker pictures we need to do better because these pictures are absolutely garbage they don't really want me to buy them at all i can i cannot i can obviously envisage myself in them envision myself in them but these pictures are terrible the product ones are pretty nice but again they didn't relace the shoe but the actual shoot the actual ones with the kid wearing them with his feet inside look horrendous but the actual product shots are beautiful i like, look at that that looks sick isn't it 
I just really, really good. Get up on the screen. That's not. Bro. Come on, work, 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 work. Get up on the screen. This looks really good, isn't it? Come on, load. What's it? What's happening here? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. You, you you get the drift. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like them or not, will you get a pair for yourself? I would like to know. I would like to know.